All right, so now that I've gone through preview mode enough times to drive you crazy, I'm gonna push it just a step further and now talk about presentation mode. There's so many things here in InDesign. This is like a massive program. You have preview mode and taking it like preview mode on steroids, you have presentation mode. So I'm gonna to go to file and open. In chapter two, I will go to folder seven and these are all grayed out. So just keep in mind, my InDesign file is down there at the bottom because these are listed in alphabetical order. So there's my presentation mode InDesign file. And what I've done is laid out a quick toy catalog of some Hot Wheels cars. Notice when I zoom in on this, man, there's just boxes and boxes and boxes and more boxes. So this is a perfect example of why you want to remember W for preview mode. Ugh, that looks so much cleaner. This looks so much nicer than W and getting all these boxes and bleeds and margins. It's just crazy. But that's a perfect example. Boxes can overlap, but when I hit W, it looks nice and clean. Okay, I'm on page two and three. If you're not on your pages panel, you can click on page two or you click any other page, but I'll start on page two right there and like I've shown you before W for preview mode and you hit W again but you also have shift and W this takes you to presentation mode now mine's getting a little cut off on the side don't worry about that that's because my demo video only goes to this far okay the page is getting cut off just be aware of that let's look on the left side so this is presentation mode Okay, I've got a black border around this. I can hit G and put a gray border, or I can hit W and put a white border, which doesn't really work well against white sheets of paper. So W for when you're in presentation mode, W for a white border, G for a gray border, or B for a black border. Now look at this little hand icon. It has a little arrow pointing down. So when I click, I'm going to keep going down. There's page 8. Click. There's page 10. Click. There's page 12. If I hit the up arrow on my keyboard, I can go backwards. There's 10. There's page 8. There's page 6. There's page 4. Hit the down arrow. I can go down through this catalog like I am doing right here. Now, I'm stuck in presentation mode, so I'm kind of wary to show you that because if you forget how to get out, you're going to kind of be stuck. But just think, I'm trapped. How do I get out of a trap? I have to escape. So in the upper left corner of my keyboard is my escape key. I hit that, and I'm right back into InDesign. Great, great trick. Okay, W is preview mode. W is getting out of preview mode. Shift and W is presentation mode. You can also hit your space bar to toggle through a document. There's so many ways to do this. What I would always recommend is whatever method you like and you're comfortable with, just use that. I prefer to use my up arrow or my down arrow instead of space bar or trying to remember clicking with the mouse or left arrow or right arrow. I mean, do the left arrow and go backwards, the right arrow. It's ridiculous how many ways you can toggle through a PDF file or a presentation mode file like this. But find the one method that works for you and just stick with it. Don't drive yourself crazy trying to learn all the methods because they all do the same thing anyway. Escape key to get out, and that is how you use presentation mode so it's a nice feature if my boss walked in and said hey Chris how's the catalog coming I don't want to show him this because now I got menus all over the place I've got guides all over the place I can hit W but I still have rulers and my control bar and my menus and panels that can get really confusing and distracting where if I am working on a catalog and my boss wants to see just the catalog I go, oh yeah, boss, check it out, shift W. And now I can just toggle through and show them the layout. 
Okay, cool. You're almost done. Get back to work. Escape key, and I'm right back to work. W, and I'm back in my outline mode. So much flexibility here in InDesign. Take advantage of it.